Colossal sweep. The whole key with the lasso is to control the right side of his body and his arm. So you gotta be more on your right side. So if you go for a lasso on this arm, you gotta be on the right side here. We'll call it and sleep here, look, elbow, collar, leave look. Here, here, and go here. I need to create space and stretch them out. Here, okay. Now from here, a couple things happen here, okay? I have to have my hand palm away from my thigh, okay, usually it's called palm up, okay? And I need to lock it to my hip, okay? So that this leg right here moves his whole body here. This cannot be loose. If this is loose and he wraps that around, he will break that grip, okay? So the grip is very important. You can have this, but I need to be able to Get this leg deep enough so that as I pull him in with my leg, his whole body turns because I'm going to force him to do a shoulder lift, okay? From here, a couple things happen. I can grab a half guard here, get up on my elbow, and I'm going to underhook right here, and then I'm going to shoot my legs past him here, and I'm going to bend my feet so that I can begin to lift him up and drive my shoulder in this face. Back step out of here. And now I can begin to let go and get into the side part. This is a super, super effective sweep and you initiate the half guard. And lasso, I can also lasso maybe like this, look. One, two here, okay? Pull them up, initiate the half guard right here, okay? arch away, come up on my elbow so that I can get underneath here. Underhook here and everything shoots past. I'll do it from another angle. Shoot past here, knees bend here, and I load him up. All I want to do is I want to get my feet to the mat as his shoulder will move to my left. Here. And now as you see my right inside knee is connected to his kind of lower right thigh and I'm going to lift up here as I turn my left side and I aim my shoulder with his face here, keeping his legs open. I step out of here. I can let go here. I can also begin to perform a platus here. Okay? As I begin to back step here, okay? I have triangles here. If he blocks my right here, you have super tight arm lock. Right there, it's a great setup, and it's hard for him to pull this on out because I'm trapping it with uh, my hip. But that's for you, more advanced guys. So here, what? So look, I can get into spider by having both hands here. I'm going to lasso. One, pull them up, and hook there. I need to underhook. I mean, you can, you can do this. But I found it just easier to get here. You get way deeper. So you kind of arch away and up on your elbow and shoot that elbow through here as the feet go through here. Okay? So look, I arch away, come up on that elbow, and I hook through here, shoot the hip. And I'm here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift him up and I'm gonna aim my shoulder to his face, keeping his legs open. Because from here, I don't wanna go onto my knees. I'm gonna wind up in a half guard. Here I can keep his legs open. Left, try to close the guard. Hard for him to close it while I'm wedging his leg here. You go here. Here, 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 here. You can wind up. In a reverse uh, kiss it or reverse talk it. One, one up a bit, shoot that leg through. Okay. Okay. I want to try to get my feet to the mat and shoulder to the face. 
step here, you can let go. Okay, try that. One, two, three. Super, super effective. It won't look on Ivan or Travis probably, but 